Now, we've gone over this, Dana. Do you need me to show you again? I really can't... Oh, can't be bothered to be doing this, Albert. I've told you how to do it once. Do you remember how to Yeah, do it? I'm not stupid. The way you do it is you go... Right. Yeah, I uh, think I've got that. I'll do it one more time, and then it's your turn, okay? Yeah. So you go to the left. Yeah. Uh, pull down I think there. You've got that. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's give it one more try. What you expect me to do that now? Right. I think we have it now. Action. Well, I am still feeling quite tired. I think I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Ah, oh, dog food. <sighs> Okay, I think we have it now. It's... it's <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Come on in. Alright. How's it going? Alright, you gonna lay down? You need to lay down for the video. What's up team? Great to have you back on the channel, it's Double A here and if you're interested in how to lose fat, build muscle or as your current lifestyle new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button just below this video and hit that like button. You'll be doing me a great favour. In today's video you are going to see a lot of very tasty food. It's going to be for the next few days. I'm not going to be able to do it a full day of eating today because it's already 5 to 10 but I want to show you an overview of what I have over the next few days so you can get an idea of what my regular routine is and some of the snacks and may I add the very tasty snacks I like to include in my diet because I'm quite a high calorie diet as I'm currently bulking. What? I'm lean bulking, I'm about 82, 83 kilos at the moment and I want to get up to 90 but I'm also trying to recover from an injury at the moment so I'm going to tell you all about this. I cover loads of stuff on this channel about how to lose fat, build muscle, recover from injuries, rehabilitation, all that kind of stuff designed to help you guys. You may be wondering what this hat is, it's the Faith RxD hat I'm also wearing the top and I go to a Christian festival of theirs every year. It's not run by them, but we do a fitness factory at this Christian festival. And I went to a festival this past weekend called the Big Church Day Out. Some of you might have been to it. It was absolutely brilliant. Worship music, great to spend time with um, lots of other Christians. But honestly, the festival is open for anybody to go because it is just a great weekend, whether you uh, follow a faith or you don't. And it's a great time to meet new people anyway. I'm gonna put a clip of my Big Church Day Out experience just after this one, then I'm going to bring you back for some epic food. All right, BCD, let's hear you singing tonight. Hey, 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 hey. on to that promise of scripture that says that where two or three are gathered there you are in our midst because in that promise is everything that matters tonight without you holy spirit we have nothing to offer and yet with you anything can happen joy hope redemption all of those things are possible in this place tonight because you are here your good news is here and so jesus we just pray that you would release that tonight in jesus name amen A few moments later. Do any of you guys like to do the same as me at the end of a day and just go out for a walk just for about 10-15 minutes to get some oxygen in your lungs before you have dinner? And actually, that is a good tip for those of you who struggle with indigestion. If there are some of you out there who struggle with indigestion, then what I would suggest is to just go out for a walk and really try and swing your arms, get yourself moving. This isn't really a sciencey explanation, but it can just help to get things moving through the system so you're able to digest your food and then feel more comfortable. Now the time is roughly 10.15 in the evening, nearly finished my little stroll, it was very eventful, 
saw a lot of cars, a lot of humans. But now the most important thing is I'm about to get my dinner and I think mum has made some oven cooked chips which look, oh I've got a bit of moustache going on, oh very nice. Any tips for how to grow a beard because when I do it just seems to become like cat fluff and it's not very um, masculine looking. So any tips on that would be much appreciated but now it's time for food. Dinner is served, but don't ever try to hold your dinner and a camera, open the door all at the same time because that's just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> <laughs> and that did actually happen to mum earlier because she dropped cake um, over by the fridge freezer over there. I don't think there are any remains that you can see anymore. But it was quite funny. Now, dinner time. This is what I'm having for my dinner. The time is course to 11, so I'm probably gonna have this at about 11 p.m. What you can see here is some leftover juicy, juicy pork, some gammon that mum gets from Sainsbury's. She gets a cut that's a little bit more expensive. You don't get as much meat, but it's a very, very lean cut of meat, so there's not much uh, wastage at all. There's a rosemary on potatoes as well as garlic powder on those potatoes. And there's one chip that I'm going to try on camera for you guys. Ready. Chips, ahoy. Delicious. Or abbreviated version, delish. Then down here I have got broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and green beans. I'm gonna to top this off with tomato ketchup and there is a nice cheeky egg in the oven. Mum's done it pretty good as well because there's a uh, runny yolk on top. I'm not gonna put that in the microwave well because that is just going to ruin the egg. I'm gonna add it to this once I've heated this up in the microwave and then I'm gonna show you the final product in a montage. Make sure you get some food because you are about to get hungry. Alright team, I do apologise, it's been uh, 24 hours since the last time I got the camera out but that's just because um, after my dinner I had some snackaroonies snickaroonies, um, but I fell asleep at the table and so that's why I'm going to give you an overview of my intake for the next few days so you can get an idea of what my intake is like and I was working at a sport and art camp today where you basically get um, parents, kids who where the parents have to work during the day and we do um, football, basketball, wheelchair basketball as well which is really good fun with the children throughout the day and I was also, no I wasn't doing personal training sessions today but I've just come from the uh, meeting with the guy from the local football club I'm going to be working with talking about the developments of where I'm going to be moving my outside personal training setup to um, with a container which is awesome so thankful for that opportunity because it's been such a blessing and i'm going to keep you up to date with that on this channel but now it's time to get some more actually i'll probably show you again my dinner this evening at the moment for those of you who've been following the channel you'll know that i've been nursing a calf and quad injury but just to quickly explain for those of you who don't know i've um, had a bit of an injury in my right calf on the medial side so more uh, towards the inside of the body on that side and it feels like it's more on the gastrocnemius rather than the soleus, which sits underneath the gastroc. Um, it just becomes very tight and it's a bit painful for when I run. But I've been doing some strengthening exercises for that recently. But the um, because of the weakness in the calf, I've been having some pain in my hip flexor, especially um, when I'm squatting. So I'm trying to improve on that. And I'm going to show you four exercises I'm currently doing that is helping me to get better. Basically relieving pain in my hip flexor when I squat and it's also helping me to not experience calf pain when I'm running. It's not like I'm experiencing calf pain and then with these exercises I've suddenly um, stopped experiencing calf pain. It's a progressive thing but I'm slowly seeing improvements. Fingers crossed it keeps going in the right direction. If you have any questions about rehab exercises or any injuries you have, please do let me know. I'm very interested in that kind of thing.
boom team. It is 10 to 1 in the morning on Wednesday, Thursday morning. It's been another 24 hours since I last spoke to you. I'm sorry about that because I've been doing more coaching and personal training and I'm sorry I'm in a bit of a state now because honestly I've got a bit of a headache. But I wanted to show you some bits of food that I'm going to be having with my snack that you have never seen on the channel before. First of all, I'm going to be having some of these callow chocolate rice cakes. I'm going to show you them up close in the next montage. And what I'll do is I'll put the food product on the screen of what I'm eating so you know exactly what I'm having. So the callow chocolate rice cakes, I'm going to be still having my normal Tesco Valley dark chocolate. I'm going to be having a go ahead um, bar, which will be forest fruit flavor, 165 calories. And I'm going to be having some other bits like some vanilla ice cream from Tesco. Another new thing though, is I'm going to be having this fiber one bar cinnamon flavor. This is what the pack looks like. And for each bar, it's 87 calories. And the amount of protein you get is only Oh, it's less than one gram of protein, but the amount of fibre you get is five and a half grams for that small thing. And then finally, I'm going to be having one of these coconut chocolate Alpen bars. Per 29 gram bar, it's 128 calories, 90 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of protein. Something I've never tried before, really interested to try it and see what it tastes like. I'm going to take you inside and show you exactly what all of this stuff looks like on the inside of the wrapper. Now, ain't that exciting? Right, my apologies guys. It's another 24 hours-ish later. It's the next evening. I'm getting to the habit of doing this. I have my dinner, then I have my snack, but I usually fall asleep just before my snack or straight away um, after having my snack, so I don't get to show you. I did manage to show you last night, but I'm not gonna show you this whole meal now, but I'm gonna show you my Snacker Jacks concoction that a lot of you should know what it is already, but I'm gonna show you all the packs of it and stuff and talk you through it. Plus, I've got some diet hacks for you guys who are struggling on having a low amount of calories per day. I've got some food substitutes that you can basically switch in. So these will be ingredients you can switch with each other. So you save on calories, but have the exact same nice taste with certain recipes. Before I tell you this though, I'm gonna show you my Snacker Jack stuff. A standard meal for me during the day is to have a pack, wait for it, wait for it, ta-da! We've got a nice little stash under here. We've got salt and vinegar rice cakes here. What I generally have um, are three corn thins. I like to have one chocolate eclair as well, not as in the long thing with um, cream inside it. It's a suckable sweet, which is uh, 30 calories. But I have 30 corn thins. I'll show you what I dip them in in a second. I have six caramel snacker jacks. If you guys don't know or haven't come across it before, they're 51 calories per caramel snacker jack. Really good in taste, high in volume. Absolutely recommend that for dieting. And I also have four chocolate chip rice cakes here. The snacker jacks again, only 62 calories for the chocolate ones. They are absolutely insane. I also have a pack of Sainsbury's chocolate corn thins. They're currently. I don't think they're making them in Sainsbury's. My mum and myself have not seen them, so I'm having the milk chocolate one at the moment. But now I need to show you the Greek yogurt stuff. If we go over to the fridge over here, let me open it for you. Oh! Some of these ingredients in here will also contribute to the uh, tips I'm going to give you about dieting. But I tend to have one of these light and free uh, Greek yogurts. These are really good. 58 calories for the blueberry ones, 52 calories for the mango and apricot ones. But I do, um, my favourite, I have to say, is the light and uh, free Greek yogurt style coconut with vanilla. Absolutely brilliant flavour. And I usually add some 0% fat Greek style yogurt to it because in 0% um, fat Greek yogurt, 
per 100 grams, there are 7.3 grams of protein. So if you have, say, 200 grams of that, that's 110 calories and nearly 15 grams of protein. But it's so much better to have um, something like this, because I, I believe for 100 grams of this, it's 63 calories. But if you have a standard normal fromage fray like this one, then per pot... Well, per 100 grams, it's 131 calories, and this is a 50 gram pot, so it's roughly 65 calories for a small pot like this, compared to 100 grams of this. So 50 grams of this equals 100 grams of this. Double the amount of volume, same amount of calories. And in here, Diet Pepsi, any kind of diet drink is really good. That's zero calories, may I add. It's really good for just filling up if you need to um, save on calories, but you want to fill yourself up for a, a time being before uh, your next meal. Having red milk compared to whole milk and green milk, per 100 grams of whole milk, it's 65 calories per 100 mils, sorry, of green milk semi-skimmed, it's 49 to 46 calories. And then per 100 mils of filtered skim milk, it's 33 calories. So it's definitely worth having this type of milk compared to whole milk. I'm too scared to have these pots of joy yet because they remind me of cream eggs. I'm not the biggest fan of cream eggs. Another one that comes to mind in regards to how you can save on calories is for cheesecakes, you can put recipes usually call for Philadelphia cream cheese and a full fat cream cheese instead adding quark it's the same consistency when i've had it the taste is slightly different but it's so much better because again per 100 grams it's about 55 calories and eight to nine grams of protein same as zero percent fat greek yogurt it's a great exchange if you want to save on calories have a large portion of chocolate cheesecake let's say but you want to have a higher protein one lower fat and lower carb if you really miss chips then this isn't the greatest replacement but i really really do like it get a bag of kale wash it obviously then put it onto a baking tray and put it in the oven so it crisps up and then say about halfway into it or just when it crisps up then what you need to do is spray it with a bit of spray one calorie olive oil or chili oil whatever you want then put garlic salt all over it, it tastes absolutely beautiful because you get crunchy kale with garlic salt it's almost like having chips but you, the calories are super super low compared to full fat chips that you have to fry in oil and then the calories for say a medium sized portion of mcdonald's chips is going to be about three four hundred maybe even five hundred calories i have to check on the website and kale per hundred grams is roughly 14 calories and you don't really need to count the calories from the spray of all because it's only one calorie per spray this was a bit of a sporadic full day of eating you can't really count it as a full day of eating because i was showing you the meals on different days and i was giving you more of an overview of how my eating was but if you have any questions about diet fitness nutrition or you just like to get in shape then please do reach out to me if you're interested in my paid services then uh, feel free to send an email if you just want me to answer a question i'll be happy to do that for free for you thanks again for watching guys make sure you smash the subscribe button and i look forward to seeing you in my next road to the games episode